It's rare for a quarterback to make the jump from a football championship subdivision school to a starting job in a Power 5 conference. There aren't many examples of a quarterback and his head coach, also being his father, leading a Power 5 team to success. In general, there aren't many cases where a team goes from 1-11 to a bowl game, or better, in one year either. Colorado's new quarterback Shador Sanders is aiming to be the exception to the rule as he leads the Buffalo's team guided by his father, Coach Deion Sanders. Making history would be cool, he said, but he really doesn't care about the history. I just focus on it as the next thing to do, Sanders told Buff Zone recently. I let everybody do research and stuff like that. I just focus on that's the next task at hand. And that's just what we've got to do. Per research done by Colorado and Buff Zone, there have been only eight situations in major college football since World War II where the head coach's son was the full-time starting quarterback. Only five times has the quarterback's son helped his dad's team reach a bowl game, and it's only happened twice at Power 5 schools. Kansas State's Darrell Dickey led his father's team to the Independence Bowl in 1982 and Colorado's Cody Hawkins took the Buffs, coached by his father, to the Independence Bowl in 2007. Perhaps history will repeat itself this year as the Pac-12 has a tie-in with the Independence Bowl. Shador Sanders will be only the fourth quarterback in Power 5 history to be the full-time starter for his father's team, joining Dickey, Hawkins, and Minnesota's Tim Salim in 1980. Shador found that bit of information interesting but said, we won a championship two years in a row, together at Jackson State. It's very rare for a quarterback to go to the SWAC and never lose a game. It's rare for a freshman or a sophomore to throw 40 plus touchdowns and have the numbers I did. There's only three people in the country that did that last year. So a lot of stuff is rare, but it's just like it's normal. This may be normal to Shador Sanders perhaps, but not to everyone else. From 2019 to 2022, 11 quarterbacks transferred from FCS schools to Power 5 programs. According to Herosports.com, only one, Cameron Ward, at Washington State in 2022 won a starting job. With Shador Sanders coming to Colorado, there have been natural comparisons to Ward. Both are athletic quarterbacks who grew up in Texas. Both were sensational at the FCS level for two years before making the jump to the Pac-12. Even their statistics are remarkably similar. In two seasons at Incarnate Word, Ward threw for 6,908 yards, 71 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions. In two seasons at Jackson State, Shador Sanders threw for 6,963 yards, 70 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions. Ward and Sanders are also friends who have the same private quarterback coach, Darrell Calvert Jr. in Houston. We talk all the time, Sanders said of Ward. We just talk about anything. Anything I want to ask him, I just ask him. Just about this conference and everything like that. And just how things are. We have a good relationship. These were Ward's thoughts on Shador and Colorado. He'll be a great quarterback for Colorado. He's going to lead them to new heights, Ward said. Shador, he's just a great competitor. If you love to compete, the team will follow you. He's going to lead the team the way he wants to lead them. Shador's confidence level is at an all-time high. He's going to compete in all aspects of the game until the clock runs out. All players go through that transition to a higher level of football at some point. 
It's an adjustment the first time someone plays on varsity in high school. It's an adjustment going from high school to any level of college football. That's why Sanders isn't concerned as he now prepares to face TCU, Nebraska, USC, and Oregon as opposed to Alabama State, Campbell, or North Carolina Central. I'm not phased by names, Sanders said. That's half the battle. People get defeated by just names or teams like that. I've just never been a person who really cares about names or anything for real. Knowing the staff we've got and the preparation and the jump I personally made this offseason from just even conditioning and strength and stuff like that, I just know how it's going to be. One big difference between Ward and Sanders is that Sanders always seems destined to play at this level. When he graduated from Trinity Christian School, which is located in Texas, Sanders chose to play for his father at Jackson State. But he was a four-star recruit with 26 scholarship offers, including 18 from Power 5 schools. Ward graduated from high school in 2020 as a no-star recruit with two offers from IWU and Texas Southern. Colorado defensive coordinator Charles Kelly was on the Alabama staff that recruited Sanders and he's not shy about letting people know Sanders is special. I think Shador has done some incredible things in his career, Kelly said at the Pac-12 Media Day on July 21st. I think Shador has all the attributes to be a productive quarterback in any level. I've known him since he was a freshman in high school. I've watched him develop. We recruited him at Alabama. I've been very impressed with what I've seen. What Shador is trying to do this year isn't common, but he's not used to being common. He grew up with an uncommon father who was a Pro Football Hall of Fame cornerback who also happened to be insanely talented enough to play nine seasons in Major League Baseball. Guided by the same father, Shador was able to post remarkable numbers in high school and remarkable numbers at Jackson State. Colorado is just the next stop, he said, and Ward agrees. I know he will have a great season, said Ward, whose team will host Colorado on November the 17th in Pullum, Wash. Shador, he's ready for the moment, and I can't wait to see him show out.